All right, man. So Detroit Lion fans are upset with Jamison Williams because he liked another Lamar Jackson post on Instagram. Well, Lamar Jackson was in Detroit Lions uh, uniform and knitted cap. Um, and he said ganger and all that ganger. You know, he support that. And, <clears throat> you know, somebody pointed out to me, my homies pointed out to me that, you know, in the season he said he don't like uh, Jared Goff. And you got the whole, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say you got the whole, you got the whole non-Detroit Lions community that support Jared Goff. That's what you got. You know, and a majority of those non-Detroiters are white or non-black. You notice that? And I'm not saying that there ain't a bias of black fans wanting Lamar Jackson. But you notice that you notice the dynamic, the dynamic of it. You got a lot of people, and, and I tell you this: the majority of the support for the Lions come from people outside of Detroit. And I said this in my video yesterday that the majority of people in Detroit are not Lion fans. They are, or they have a backup team, which I don't really believe in that. But it is what it is. But the majority of people in Detroit don't really fuck with the Lions like that. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, a lot of them are Steelers, Commanders, Cowboys, Eagles, Chiefs. <clears throat> and then some, a lot of people just roll with the team who win it, too. You got a lot of just casual fans that roll with that. But let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And my stance saying it ain't Lamar bust for me. I think they got to prepare to move off from Jared Goff. You got people who bring up stats. Well, you know, Jared Goff did this and... Jared Goff, you got an actual football player who played with Jared Goff, who don't support Jared Goff, and now he's turning on him because he don't support Jared Goff. You know, because he don't like Jared Goff. And I don't blame him. Because every time him and Goff, you know, throw it, Goff throw it behind. Or he got to wait on it. In that Minnesota game, he had to wait on it. Somebody comments says, well, you know, Lamar would have overthrown him. where? Lamar is a great deep ball thrower, to be honest. You know, you got people who say, well, Lamar can't um, do it Jared Goff can do. I mean, one thing. What what do you what do you have to do? Hand the ball off and play action. It's not hard. And throw down the field. I will say, I don't think he is as you know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure if he can. Can he? You know, dink and dunk like Jared Goff as far as like I don't say dink and dunk, but that middle of the field. You know, can he really? You know, do. But Jared Goff really can't read defenses neither. Bill Belichick, well, he can't with him at all. Bill Belichick exposed that. So. But I'm going to say that for another day, another time. But, you know, Jameson Williams knows something. And who else Who else? Want, who else? else wouldn't feel like that? You know what's so funny? When St. Brown was, like, trying to get Jalen Ramsey, he was like, you know, we got Jared Goff. You played with Jared Goff already. Jalen Ramsey was like, hell no. Nah. All right, Detroit, eh, Jared Goff, hell no. You know, you got fans that say, well, you know, well, Goff would be all right. Well, we're going we gonna to have to wait and see. He had a good second of the half season. People said, well, you know, the offense was ranked number one last year. And when it was one and six, man, did it look like it going to New England? Did it look like it when he was turning the ball over against Philadelphia? We we, we just, we, we actually speaking facts. In Dallas, did it look like it? So... You know, everybody wants to say, well, his playoff record ain't, you know, Lamar's play. Who was he playing with? Peyton Manning playoff record wasn't good. We know this. Peyton Manning record wasn't good. And he, he has some fucking Hall of Famers with him. So everybody want to escape the fact that Lamar ain't playing with nobody. But you give him Jameson Williams. You give him St. Brown. You know what I'm saying? You in the Swift probably, Swift and Dave Montgomery had the best years of their career. And I think the trio of really good tight ends we got, James Mitchell, I think a lot of people are going to love him, Zelstra, and Brock uh, Brock Price. What's his name? Brock, uh, I forget the dude's name. I'm sorry for forgetting it. I'm thinking about Brock Purdy in my mind. But nonetheless, bro, I mean, it, I don't think it's Lamar Bus, but I, I think I think he would take Bryce, Bryce Young. You know? And, you know, Jared Goff, he, 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 you know, everybody talk about the cons and, you know, offense has to switch, whatever. But one thing you know about Lamar Jackson, he can throw it in the cold. He can play in the cold. People say, well, you know, he's been injured and just that and third. It is what it is. When you run the football like that, you're going to get injured. I would hope that the Lions would put a more pro-style offense around him. I think that's what he he will want. And if he doesn't get it, if he not want to implement 80% pro-style or something like that, then, yeah, I, I'm, off the, I'm off the bandwagon. I'd rather stick with Jared Goff. Simple as that. 
I'm off the bandwagon. You know, if he don't want to implement doing some things, you know, you can plug him in right with what Jared Goff do. That ain't impossible. What do you got to do? Hand the ball off, play action, throw down the field. You know, that's it. Jared Goff ain't doing nothing much. When the run ain't going, Jared Goff is pedestrian. When the run is, is well, Jared Goff gets into a rhythm. When they're able to run the ball, he gets into a rhythm. When he can't run the ball, he pedestrian. Simple as that. It's, it's not that, but... Obviously, Jameson Williams know a little bit more than football than most of y'all out there, if not all of y'all. You know, he know a little bit more. So I, I'm, I'm with him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anytime, you know, you know, you got an opportunity to get a guy like him. He so he played this and he did this and he did. I mean, they ain't supporting him with nothing. So he got to put the team on his shoulder and do more. He lost to Orlando Brown. He got to do more. J.K. Dobbs was injured to start last year, coming off ACL. He got to do more. You know, Rashad Bateman went down. He had to do more. Lost Hollywood Brown. Had to do more. So he he ain't losing, you know, top targets. I mean, he ain't, you know, he losing his top targets, which they not that good to begin with. And the Ravens GM said it himself that they wasn't that good to begin with. Give him some talent in Detroit, put him on the turf. But you know what? A lot of people scared of that culture shock. And I think Mark Sheila scared of that culture shock. Black quarterback, put him on the turf. Guess what? They can't hang on. And he had off the field issues or character issues. They can't hang on to that. I don't think a lot of non-black Lion fans are ready for the Lions to embrace the city of Detroit because it'll be a totally different type of crowd at four field and it'll be a totally different culture shock to go i'm not saying that they would it would be bigotry towards lamar jackson i'm just saying it'd be different it, it'd be it had a it would have a different feel to it and i, I just think for for sheila it's different when you got people from the business where they're business casual you want to say business on code it'd be different but um to me you know detroit and baltimore are two different both grimy grimy places both, you know, they off the water, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got a few lakes. It's, it's, that's what Detroit is. You know, Detroit, you know, the Lions should be a, a carbon copy of the city of Detroit, or it should be a, a it should represent, and it never has been that. And a lot of people that live outside of the city of Detroit, they've enabled the Fords not to have to sell the team by supporting bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. Y'all come from wherever y'all come from, the west side, north, Bay city, wherever y'all come from, and y'all break bread every year and get fooled every year by this shit. You know, and then the majority of y'all come out and support Jared Goff just like y'all wasn't throwing his dick in the dirt year one. He won a game versus Arizona, and now, come on, he's done nothing in his league, bro. He's done, only thing he's done in his league is was riding Kai Gurley and Sean McVay's coattail. That's what it is. You got to think about it. The second highlight of his career is last season going, eight, you know, coming back from one and six and winning eight out of what, last nine games or something. That's the highlight. People saw in the playoffs, yeah, if I got Todd Gurley, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Brandon Cook, Tyler Higsby, Gregory Everett, or Greg Everett, Aaron Donald, Leonard Floyd, Jalen Ramsey, you can name them. And I'm the only ones I could think of. He's played with all of those guys. And I'd say Marlon Humphrey, Jimmy Smith, Marcus Peters are not great defensive players. And, and some of them guys that go over there like Calais Campbell, they not solid. They, you know, I'm not saying they not solid. But Rashad Bateman, he's still trying to figure it out. What's the dude's name? Devon Smith, Hollywood Brown. You know, uh, uh, what's the other running back name? It, you know, Mark Ingram, the other one. I forget his name. Start with a G. Come on, man. J.K. Dobbs, We, you know, he's solid, but come on. This is, who, this is who he playing with compared to that list. Compared to Cooper Cup, one of the best receivers in the league. Compared to Robert Woods, be better than any other Raven receiver that I name. Todd Gurley, you know, he was the best running back in football. Not only running it, catching the ball out the backfield. So, like I said before, I, you know, I'm with, I'm with it. You know, I would love to see it happen. I would love to see the Lions explode. And, and, and do something, and maybe it won't have to be a fully guaranteed contract to come to Detroit. Maybe he just get the fuck up out there and take a good deal. I'll do it. We can't complain about them not spending money. We can't complain about them not taking the right chance, not taking the risk. Well, I mean, if if the NFC was competitive like the AFC, I would be like, hell no. Nah. 
I'd be like, no, I'm off, I'm off the boat. I would say that. But you looking at it, Kirk Cousins, perhaps Jalen Hurts and Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott are the best receivers. They the best, they the best, they the best receivers. So think about that for a minute. They the best receivers. I mean, best quarterbacks around. Kyler Murray, Matthew Stafford. Come on, it's not uh, Joe Burrows, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, uh, 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 Trevor Lawrence. It's, it's not that. Josh Allen, you know, could be Aaron Rodgers. I mean, it's not that Deshaun Watson probably find his, his tempo, find his rhythm. It's not that murderous role of quarterbacks or teams. It's a clear path where you can go for it right now, and why not? You know golf got limitations. You know the league going to get a second look at what Ben Johnson can do. So Ben Johnson going to have to be more creative with a less creative quarterback. Or a left with a limited. He's very limited. Bill Belichick prove it every time they play. But hey, it is what it is. I, I, I'm with Jameson. Uh, you don't like him, you don't like him. Fuck it. If you want to call it immaturity or whatever. Like, man, get his. We already know, man. Get him out of here. We know he limited. If a dude always throwing the ball and I got to wait on it here and there, of course, I'm going to be angry, be upset. But hey, he already know he ain't that guy. And we're going to find out. They have everything in place. And then they're going to be rushing to try to find a quarterback. Get the dude while he out there now. Put Lamar in a position to, you know, where he can run, do a Jared Goff do. Hand the ball off. Throw the ball down the field. Critical moments run for first downs. Big games use his legs. Simple as that. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify. You can catch up with my PayPal. Peace.